Are you living in Florida and you're thinking about moving to Northeast Tennessee? Or perhaps you live in another state and you're trying to decide between Florida and Tennessee? Well, this video is for you because today I'm going to talk about the top four reasons people are moving from Florida to Northeast Tennessee. And full disclosure, I lived in Fort Lauderdale for 15 years and then I decided to move to Northeast Tennessee in 2008. I love my time in Florida, so this video is not meant to put Florida down, but I just found myself longing for something different like many of you. I'm Stephanie with the Freck Group at Greater Impact Realty. Our team specializes in working with people that are moving from out of state to Northeast Tennessee. And here's what people from Florida are telling us when they move to Tennessee. Over 1,200 people move to Florida from out of state every day. And for every 10 people that move to Florida, about three or four move out of state. Where are they heading to? States like Georgia, Texas, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Around 40,000 people moved to Tennessee from Florida in 2022. Here's the number one reason that people are moving from Florida to Northeast Tennessee, the cost of living. And this is sort of broken down into two different parts. And actually there's a lot of other moving parts, but we're just gonna concentrate on high property taxes and high homeowners insurance, which includes that hurricane insurance. And certainly Florida and Tennessee both share the benefits of no state income tax. But when you start delving into property taxes and homeowners insurance, that's where you really start to see the difference. At a glance, it appears that Florida's property taxes aren't very high, but you have to take a little closer look. WFSU News reported that homeowners across Florida received their proposed property taxes for the year, and for many, it was the highest increase they've seen in years. I also ran across several articles online that stated that even homeowners that benefit from homestead exemptions and assessment caps such as the Save Our Homes Amendment saw the biggest increase in their property taxes since 2012. And the non-homestead property owners, well, let's just say, they're bearing the brunt of escalating property taxes. When I was living in Florida down in Fort Lauderdale, I struggled with the high property taxes, even in a 700 square foot condo. So let's take a look at Florida's homeowner's insurance. 40% of all tropical storms and hurricanes affect Florida. So the homeowners are definitely seeing their homeowner's insurance increase yearly. Along with the higher tax bills are increases in homeowner's insurance, which includes your hurricane coverage like wind damage. And some homeowners are seeing their insurance policies canceled altogether. According to an article by Friedlander in 2022, Florida homeowners insurance climbed 33% compared to the national average of 9%. So let's take a look at the property taxes and homeowners insurance in Northeast Tennessee. Here's a good rule of thumb to follow. If you were to purchase a home in the city, you would have city and county taxes. And that would probably equal about 1% of the assessed value of that home. Now keep in mind, most homes are assessed for much lower. So a $500,000 home shouldn't have a tax bill more than $5,000. Take that same home, take it out in the country. Now you're only gonna be paying about a half a percent of the assessed value of a home. So that would be about $2,500 for that same home, probably much less. Our tax assessments here in Northeast Tennessee tend to be pretty conservative. So if you're looking at listings online, let's say realtor.com or Zillow, and you're looking at homes in Northeast Tennessee, pay attention to those tax amounts for city and county taxes. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I actually had a buyer from Florida recently send me an email and he had attached a listing from Northeast Tennessee and he said, can you tell me, are the taxes here annual or monthly? And I said, they're annual. He was pleasantly surprised. According to insurance.com, our average price of homeowner's insurance, let's say in Johnson City, is about $1,700 a year versus Florida's average of about $3,800 to $4,200 per year. The number two reason why people say they are leaving 
Florida and moving to Northeast Tennessee, the population and overcrowding. Now we hear this from people over and over again. And I will say from my past experience living in Florida many years ago, that when I arrived to Florida and when I departed Florida, it was a very different place. The traffic, the accidents, the high rises along the beach, uh, trying to get a table at a restaurant. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I'll tell you, if Shad and I lived in Florida, we'd never get to go to dinner because he doesn't like to wait more than five minutes to be seated. Now, there are times that I miss living in a big town and I miss living in Florida. I love the Galleria, Seasons 52, Capitol Grill, you know, all that stuff. But I was willing to trade some of that for some solitude and some space. Here are some statistics to put into perspective. Tennessee is 76% of the size of Florida. So it's a smaller state. However, Florida's population is almost 19 million and Tennessee's population is around 7 million. So Florida has 12 million more people living in it than Tennessee. Much of Florida's population is along the coast and that certainly makes sense. If you're gonna live in Florida, why not live near the ocean? I know one of the reasons we are receiving so many calls, emails, and text messages, especially from areas like Tampa and Orlando, is the overcrowding in the population. I'll give you an example of what you're dealing with up here in Northeast Tennessee. Three of the largest towns are in the Tri-Cities. Johnson City, population of 71,000. Kingsport, population of 55,000. Bristol population of 28,000 and then it goes down from there. You have to drive an hour and a half to Knoxville to get into a much larger town and Knoxville is about 250,000. Florida is growing at about 2% a year where Tennessee is growing at about 1% a year. When you compare a population of 7 million in Tennessee and 19 million in Florida, that's a big difference. Number three, weather. This is one of the other reasons people are telling us they're moving from Florida to Northeast Tennessee. Now, Florida has a tropical climate with weather that's basically hot and warm. The temperatures fluctuate from about 62 degrees to 90 degrees, depending on what part of the state that you're in. So, I mean, if you like nice weather and sunny weather year round, I mean, you really can't beat Florida. So it seems kind of crazy that I'm gonna complain about it today. People are telling us they just got tired of the weather. It's too hot. And you know, many of them move from the Northeast Coast or the Midwest, places like Minnesota or Vermont, New York, New Jersey, Michigan. And they were tired of shoveling themselves out of the snow, but now they've lived in Florida for a while and they need something in between. I can certainly relate to this because I grew up in Michigan. And after living in Florida for 15 years, I just desired something different. I miss fall. You know, when it's Thanksgiving and there's actually, uh, the leaves have color on them or the leaves are falling, maybe a little bit of snow around Christmas. I remember when you're carving a pumpkin and it was flat and rotten by Halloween because it was so hot. I eventually joined the club of those people we call the halfbackers. Those are the people that move from, let's say the Northeast or the Midwest down to Florida. And now they're moving halfway back to places like Tennessee, the Carolinas, Kentucky. So what's the appeal to Northeast Tennessee's weather? Four moderate seasons pretty much a three month winter with an average of maybe 11 to 12 inches of snow per year, compared to places like Minnesota with an average of 40 inches, New York, 25 inches, and some parts of New York with as high as 127 inches. Average temperatures in the mid 50s and 40s with the lows in the 20s in the winter in Northeast Tennessee. I've seen temperatures in the 60s in the winter also. Spring starts in Northeast Tennessee in March. In this last March, we mowed our lawn twice before the month was over. Summer is about four months starting in May and ending in September. The daily highs average 76 degrees and the hottest month in July with highs in the mid to low 80s and lows in the mid 60s. And yes, we do have humidity. Fortunately, our evenings cool down and many nights you could leave your windows open. 
Something that people often ask, do you have tornadoes in Northeast Tennessee? And yes, we certainly have a risk of having a tornado here in Northeast Tennessee. Take a look at the tornado map from 1950 to 2017. As you'll see, there's very few tornadoes up in the northeast corner of Tennessee. Those numbers really start to pick up as you head west across the state. Our mountainous terrain offers a lot of protection, but you should always make a plan for you and your family, just in case. Fall is probably one of my most favorite seasons in Northeast Tennessee. I mean, you can really get your pumpkin spice latte out because you have all the beautiful leaves, people visiting to see the fall colors. It puts you in the mood for the upcoming holidays. With four moderate seasons in Northeast Tennessee, you're not gonna be shoveling yourself out all winter and you won't be burning up for long, long summers. There's just really a season for everyone. Number four, location. Many of the buyers moving from Florida to Northeast Tennessee and looking for homes are just kind of tired of the location. Florida is the most southern state in the United States, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. So if you're into sun and sea, especially sea, you can't beat Florida. You know, diving, snorkeling, swimming, parasailing, sunbathing, the list goes on and on, but some people start to feel isolated. And even though you could go down to, let's say Miami for the nightlife, you could go to Key West for a little Margaritaville, up to Orlando, take the kids up to amusement park, you could hop up to like Savannah or Atlanta easily. People are just wanting a change of pace. And that's kind of how I started to feel after living in South Florida. It takes five or six hours just to get out of the state. One of the advantages of Tennessee, as we say in real estate, location, location, location. It's in the southeastern region of the United States, surrounded by eight states. This means you are within a day's drive to several major cities like Atlanta, St. Louis, Chicago, and even Orlando. If you want to hit the beach, you could even drive over to Hilton Head or Myrtle Beach in just under six hours. From Johnson City to Chicago or New York would be around nine hours. And for all you halfbackers that move from the north down to Florida, and now you're moving halfway back to Northeast Tennessee, it's gonna be a lot easier drive for you to see your friends and family and for your friends and family to visit you. And I've noticed so many of you are driving long distances and not flying. So this will be an advantage. And last but not least, relating to Northeast Tennessee's location is the actual beauty because it's location along the Appalachian Mountains and the rolling hills and the rivers and the lakes. If you like hunting and fly fishing, you like hiking, you like history, this is the place for you. You really need to check it out. So those are the top four reasons people are moving from Florida to Northeast Tennessee. There are several other reasons. I guess that's another video. If you're living in Florida, and you're thinking about moving to Northeast Tennessee or you're living in another state and you're teetering on, should I move to Florida or should I move to Northeast Tennessee? Feel free to give us a call, text or email. You'll find our contact information in the about section below. If you like this kind of content, hit like and subscribe to Living in Johnson City, Tennessee. Like I always say, it's never too soon to start planning your move. I hope to see you here in Northeast Tennessee real soon.